International Summit of Cooperatives got started bright and early Monday morning. At 7.30, the Quebec City Convention Center was already buzzing with activity. The board of directors of the International Cooperative Alliance was already hard at work, and they weren't alone. Thousands of cooperators had gathered to share their success stories and challenges. It's not every day you get to meet people from all over the world who share your passion. And everyone wanted to make the most of this rare opportunity. No doubt about it, today's main event was the summit grand opening. The room was full of cooperators from all over the world. Many have traveled from countries where war rages, food security is an issue, and an aging population faces uncertain healthcare prospects. But cooperators will not be deterred. We have at our disposal means unparalleled in the history to solve these problems. Imagine for a second that decision makers around the planet took a massive dose of cooperation. Together, we could find and apply the solutions. Today, cooperatives are making their voices heard and the leaders of the G20 nations are finally listening. After three years, the Australian government, who in the chair this year, invited the CEO of the largest cooperative business in Australia, Dr. Andrew Crane, to join the B20. For the first time, the cooperative voice was heard in the B20 and helped to frame the recommendations for the G20. At the opening ceremony, the enthusiasm was palpable. It's an enthusiasm Peter Diamandis shares, confident that we can harness the power of technology to tackle the challenges facing humanity. The technologies I'm speaking about are technologies so powerful that they put into the hands of single individuals, of small teams, what was only in the hands before of the largest governments and corporations. The tone was set. Optimism was the order of the day at the welcome cocktail and the exhibition. The spirit of cooperation is alive and well here today, and it's being passed on to the younger generation, just like the love of music.